Do you know that I, Video Game Donkey, the smartest man in the entire world who has never once been wrong, do you know that even I am wrong sometimes? When I first reviewed Last of Us, I was underwhelmed by the lack of crazy ass set pieces and pretty much wrote the story off as some generic zombie bullshit. But when I revisited the game a couple years later, I completely turned around. I thought it was incredible. On my second playthrough, I could really appreciate how consistent and honestly these characters were written. It traded out those short bursts of bewildering perfection for a more consistent, complete experience. It also, in its wisdom, them, completely ditched the climbing mechanic from Uncharted. Don't get me wrong, these are all good games, but the climbing is so goddamn boring. What should be a minor feature is actually a prominent chunk of each game. It's a cutscene of a dude climbing. It doesn't really feel like you're playing when you get to these parts. There's no margin for error. There's no way you can really lose. Uncharted 4 does, however, make a big breakthrough with the addition of the grapple hook. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Put a goddamn grappling hook in every game from now on, in my opinion. But even with the awesome sliding and hook mechanics, Uncharted 4 still feels like a fake platform. There's even a moment where dude busts out a PS1 and starts playing a Crash Bandicoot, a game from 1996 that understood this better. You have to jump at the right time, you have to land on stuff. It's actually hard as shit because it's a 3D platformer that you play with a D-pad. What the fuck? What really sucks is when that feeling of inconsequence starts to take a hold of the story. For the first two thirds of the game, I was completely drawn in. Nathan Drake is descending down this tunnel of bad decision making, largely influenced by his shady older brother, he recklessly puts his life and his marriage in danger as the game takes its time setting all the pieces and building this ominous vibe under the surface until you reach that point where you think it's gonna erupt and everything's gonna go to hell. Instead, everything starts resolving itself by magic. I feel like I missed a couple chapters in there. One second, everything is fucked. Then boop! Oh, never mind. It's, I mean, I'm not against happy endings, but you have to earn that shit. You can't have your main guy be a complete dickhead to everyone who loves him. And then, hey, look at that. Everything worked out. You're a millionaire. You beat the game. What the fuck kind of message is that? They're already working on some DLC chapters that will probably explain that jarring gap in the middle. But as of now, what the fuck? Story aside, Naughty Dog has once again raised the bar for graphics and animation. This game looks incredible. They've also dramatically improved upon the shooting and combat. Crushing difficulty is available right off the bat instead of having to unlock it. I do suggest you play it on the hardest difficulty where you'll have to go in and out of stealth to defeat enemies. Bad guys can now uh, lose track of you mid-firefight, which gives Uncharted 4 these unique hide-and-seek style skirmishes. This might not be the system seller critics are hyping it up to be, but it's definitely a must-have title for PS4 owners. The story's initial promise of a messier, more adult take on Uncharted doesn't quite deliver, but the gunplay, the adventure, and the atmosphere are all there. I give Uncharted a strong 3 out of 5, but the upcoming DLC chapters could probably kick this up to a 4 for me. Depending on how much they let you use the grapple hook.